All right, so like I was saying, uh, time without number, I've been telling everybody in our platform that if you are in our, if you're on our platform and you are not doing the personal trading, you're actually very, very wrong. Okay, so you're actually very wrong if you are on our platform and you're not doing personal trading, you're wrong. And this is the issue. Good number of people don't strategize to handle the market as much as they should uh, in you know, creating the ability to manage, uh, creating the ability to manage you know, some uh, unforeseen circumstances you know, in the process of holding your crypto asset. You, we all always need to create a strategy time ahead because a lot of things will happen while you're not prepared. And if you have not set strategy, you know, what we make you to have, um, what to make you to have uh, some liquidity when you have, you know, some issues, right? Um, it, it will keep you maybe at the verge of, at the verge of, um, what would I call it? At the verge of making money, you may be tempted, okay? At the verge of making money, you may be tempted to close your trade. <laughs> and uh, why closing your trade? It doesn't really make any sense, okay? Because closing your trade can create a lot of problem, you know, when you are ought to be, uh, uh, let me put it this way and just go this way. So. This, I think, uh, something is hanging somewhere here. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. All right. So everybody, you're, I, I, I've, been, I've been avoiding many of our community not to trade on BitMEX for a very long time. And the reason is no far fetch. Why did I not, uh, I trade on BitMEX and not all the time anyway. Uh, anytime I'm going to trade on BitMEX, my twin brother will tell me bye bye Jebu. <laughs> because why I do, I actually said, I was only going to expose our community to trading on BitMEX when I have seen that we've consolidated. All right. And so uh, it is after consolidations uh, we can have our people trading on BitMEX because it, it could create a lot of panic and uh, dissatisfactions, losing of money, you know, on BitMEX because of uh, our temperament. And again, our uh, a bit is a kind of hybrid place of trading. And it's on that I logically do not want to expose our community into uh, uh, margin trading of BitMEX. However, other exchange platform had been uh, creating a different you know, forum for uh, trading on BitMEX and all of that. I think you have so many accounts that uh, yeah. Okay, nevertheless, let's just, let just take it away. Now, why I don't want to make our people to trade on BitMEX, not that we're not going to trade on BitMEX, but it should be when we are making some good money and uh, you've created a base where money can be coming in regularly. Remember, on our personal trading, 
we are not going to be under stress. And that was why I devised about three pattern that you must create uh, holding positions, uh, you must create uh, swinging position and scalping position. But what I find out going forward again is that a lot of people are trading and they can be under stress sometimes, needing money. And when they need money, you know, their crypto is still down, you know, and they sell it off just to meet off those needs. It, no, you don't need to do that. What we need to do is to partition our system. And that was I encouraged everyone who have an account, right, who have an account on Binance, to ensure uh, their verification is done. And if you're able to do your verification on Binance, uh, and I've said this before now, that our verification on Binance should be done so that you can you know, credit, especially most of us in Nigeria. Then we can create, uh, you know, we can be deposited in money directly, you know, and uh, the account, because I, do, I don't have only one Binance account, I have so many Binance accounts. Okay? And so if that is the case, let us create as much as we can, you know, uh, you know, on, um, you know, different Binance, you can have two, three Binance account, and then you verify, or oh, excuse me, guys, this is crazy. I have this coin several months back. That was last year. <laughs> I've just seen something crazy on it. So what's happening? Wow, this is madness, guys. <laughs> this is madness. <laughs> this is madness. Yeah, that's part of trading where you have created, you know, a long-term view of a trade. Now, uh, what, where I want us to, uh, I just hope I know the Binance account where this coin is. Uh, too much money. <laughs> okay, let's see. The problem is how to spend it. <laughs> that is Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, he said that there are two major problems in money. No much money and too much money. And so we're still struggling on no much money. And then so that we can cross to the second problem. So we call it good trouble, where you can have some money and be confused or which one to spend. All right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, actually money is a bastard child. And so it's meant to be sent on errand, but we, we, we are still struggling and to find a way of getting some money. Okay. I just want to do something more practical. You know, trading is practical, not theory. But I, I want us to find this, a simpler way of handling it. It's not about, you know, I've been saying time with that number that it's good to be an informational trader than to be, you know, a professional trader because a lot of people can analyze the candlestick for you left and right here and there. And at the end of the day, uh, you ask them how many is their account reading. They tell you, I know the closer of the mouth and when the market is going to drop, I can tell you. And uh, fortunately, it's not about closing the market. It's all about making the profit out of the closing of the market. And so uh, I just want to do something. And something came up. I wouldn't know. All right, this guy. Oh, network, so I'll throw back to it. So we're actually going to, uh, you, which we can download and uh, uh, stomp, stomp game. That's the first one we're going to finish up. Uh, so I just tried to bring up something here. Which guy is this again? Okay,
Oh, it has not actually got into the price set for it. Well, wow, it's a uh, 500 Satoshi. Uh, yeah, okay, it's still coming up, so let me just leave it. Uh, because, so you can see some crazy things since last year. Eight bar was set since last year, October. Uh, so just trying to break out. Oh, the guy is marvelous. Fantastic. So the guy just trying to recover back. Mm. So I actually have my market here. Yeah, you still have some ways to go. 500. Mm. Problem is coming up then. So I quite go to Jen Kuija Badge. So let's just leave you there. So let's go to this guy. Now, why what I discover on this guy I actually went there for staking of coin. But I discovered something that's unique about it, and I know it's going to help a lot of us. Now, remember, in our project, all we're doing is to ensure that we're not going to be under pressure and sell off our assets prematurely, where we ought to have maximized profit. And what can lead to that sometime if we don't keep something aside of liquidity? And so we should be able to create some liquidity so that when they rise, you can touch into the liquidity. And that was the reason why I talked about the Binance that time, of those of us who verify our account, especially in Nigeria, you can debit, you can credit your account. Sometimes I just have some maybe careless cash of 10,000, 25, uh, 20, 50, 100,000 there. I can just use my card and deposit that to my Binance. And two major coins I always tell people to focus such money to is not to trade it anywhere, is to just keep such money on BNB and BTC. Okay, like most of us in Nigeria are using NGN. So it's to ensure that every money I'm gonna keep is going to be on uh, BNB, NGN. I remember the last BNB I bought in Naira was 5,500 Naira. And uh, I sold, uh, was it yesterday, just for experimenting for some persons. And I just uh, think I, I cut off, I sold over, um, how much? I think I sold over, uh, Holy Spirit help me. I think I just sold off some fractions. So, so from 5,500 to 9,000 naira, that's good money. So with that, you should divide a strategy, especially those of us in Nigeria using Nigerian currency, you should buy a strategy where careless money your bank account, 40,000, 100,000, 50,000, some interval, just credit into your back office and buy BNB or BTC. Don't trade as you buy the BTC, then you can place price against the same NGN, for instance. Place the price against the NGN back. Don't waste your energy, you know, hey, this is. Fantastic, this guy, this guy is fantastic. Just imagine this guy recovering from 2.3 million era of, uh, 2.3 million era of December. BTC, 2.3 million era of December to 3.7 million era right now. And that's amazing, you know. And uh, let me go back, you know, please, sorry. Okay, 3.7 million naira. Now, uh, remember the, when I sent in some money to, okay, I think I, what I was doing an experiment yesterday. Now, I sent in some money sometime when BTC was 2.6 million naira. That was about early this year or ending of last year. And um, I just bought BTC and kept it there. Now, what I did was to set selling price of that to about 3.7 and 3.6. So in dollar, about uh, yeah, about uh, ten thousand. So actually, have you know, just like in our platform, we explain that we're expecting BTC to have three step of breakout before a pullback of reversal, and it actually was supposed to pull back at nine thousand nine hundred dollars. I think it was yesterday in the office or last week. I was saying to some of our traders that hey, 
we expect Bitcoin to pull back. But with the things happening in BTC, could have a double top, you know, instead of pulling back, that was pulling back here, we could have a double top and that's what's happening. So actually we want, we expect 9,500, 10,400, 11,200, 11,300, and eventually by chances, hitting $12,000 before you pull back to about $9,000 or $9,200, you know, by the algorithm and all of that. But the market is still being manipulated, but it will play out, but it may extend the timing. And so uh, what we now say is this, if you keep some money, don't keep all your money into all the crypto assets, especially when you know that everything you do is around the crypto and you will need some money, you know, some time to your home keep and all of that. So that you can keep on a BTC NGN or BTC uh, uh, NGN uh, uh, or BNB. And so that at any point in time, you can dispose that just like you keep the money in your bank account. And so in keeping your bank account, with, maybe you keep 100,000 error, 100,000 error to keep on BNB when BNB was 5,500 or 6,000 naira. So 100,000 divided by, uh, least all these things are very important. That's a planning they will not put you under pressure. You know, uh, 5,000 or 6,000, it will put about 100,000 error on BNB. 100,000 error on BNB divided by 6,000 error. Okay, that will give you about 16.66 BNB. And then when you are, maybe you are an emergency need, when BNB was 8,500 Naira, multiply by 8,500 Naira, okay? So that's about 141,600. So 40,000 Naira additional within two months or three months can enter into it. You could liquidate everything or you just take the 40,000 Naira depending on, on what you are doing and uh, you know what you do, you know what you are looking for. And so we should be able to strategize for ourselves. That is one part. The second part I find interesting to add to our liquidity trading is this storm game. Now, storm game, I, I stubborn to read like when I'm trying to uh, look for where to put in my coins. And three things I found, I still find another one, Falcon. And uh, Falcon and other platforms that were on interest profit staking, or uh, it's a lot of them, and it's a lot of them like you got BTC here, and then you can see storm game, sell shares, Sensors is a fantastic thing that I've been doing something with. And then uh, Sensors, be true, you know, and this guy is difficult for us only if you're in Nigeria, uh, victory.com. I think that's where mostly Chainlink is being staked, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. And then, so now, now, what I find interesting in this guy, they have a lot of promo they are doing, but I have not taken time to look at the promo. But what I want to show us now is that basically, after now, you can try little money. Like experiment I was doing for a lot of people, I just put in little money for experimentation. And what exactly are you doing? Actually, you are trading fiat, uh, fiat here, but this is the logic you will use. What logic are you going to use here? Or oh, this guy. Let's go. Now, this is, this is Tom Game. You can download this an app. You can... Just register, you know, uh, I'm trying to find out. I saw two major things, they were looking at promo code, but I haven't been able to find the promo code. Nevertheless, after now you can just go and just tap on Storm Game, that's app.stormgame.com, and then what you do, register, verify your account on your email, and do all the necessary things. Now, what next are you meant to do? Please follow this step. It can sound confusing when you first start, but it's not difficult. Uh, this thing, uh, please let somebody get some signal here. The signal anyone should get here is that most guys who are smart guys who have been trading forex, uh, they are making money. Not, not, not. There's no doubt about that. But they discover there's so much huge opportunity in crypto, and those guys are developing different platforms or tools to maximize crypto trading. If you've actually been in the forex trading, and you can settle down with crypto. Those little skills or fundamental skills you have in forest is going to make you lousy money in crypto trading. And that's the advantage. But you, you don't do critical, okay? If you are too critical with too much technical analysis and apply too much technical analysis to crypto, you will lose money. 
cryptocurrency is more of fundamental market sentiment. So, but if you have some basic or fundamental, you know, skills in, you know, forex trading, now it's going to be a lot easier for just the navigations and the sentiment, you know, and the little psychology that you just differs from here, you know, to the forest. But the same thing is what you are still doing. But the advantage is that I tell a lot of people that this is the place that you can cheat. So what are you going to do? If you open your account, you verify the first place of consultation. Don't click on, on deposit. Select the coin you want to deposit. Is it BTC? Is it Bitcoin Cash? Is it Litecoin? Is it this? Then first of all, select and click on BTC or whichever one you want to deposit. Now, when you click that, so that way you can click on deposit. If you just click on deposit, it's going to show you this guy, USDT. If you just click on deposit, it's going to say, okay, you are depositing USDT. So don't click on deposit. Okay, can you see? You say, okay, let me change it. You are not going to change anything. Set out the layer. And so and that's not what you are depositing. So what you're depositing could be BTC, could be Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, Ripple, whatever. Now, if you want to deposit BTC, you click on BTC first, then there you go, click on deposit. Okay? So when you click on deposit, there you go, bam. So you click and then to bring out the address. Please always read information before you proceed. The minimum deposit is 0 0.0005 whatever if you deposit below the required minimum the funds will not be credited to your account this address of course the sign this one here everywhere to tell you if you click for btc and you come to send bitcoin cash of course forget the money is gone so you're going to pick the address and then send money into your uh, uh, wallet so every money you send in that btc uh, you're not going to see it here on that popular or uh, all instruments or uh, you know favorite or top rising you know, you're gonna find btc top rising coins that are just rising wow that's crazy uh, i have here i have these peers does not look well wow, this madness guys wow <laughs> top falling and okay that's what you can see bitcoin cash is up the top falling today and so there you go Deposit the money. So once you finish depositing, please, you now want to trade. You want to trade now. Your money is confirmed. You're not looking, what should I do? At this point, you are not coming here. Where do you go? If you just go, you want to trade BTC, or you want to trade Ethereum, or you want to trade Litecoin, or you want to trade Light, um, whichever one you want to trade, okay? Now what you do is first of all, first of all, uh go to exchange click on exchange so you're going to see advanced or instant so you go to instant exchange so instant so instant what am i doing i'm converting btc everything every tools you want to trade must be converted to usdt first that's the fiat it's from the usdt you trade against all the other instruments here Remember, what the money you are keeping here, depending on your understanding and what you want. But what I want you to keep here is not the money for your major crypto asset. But if you are smart, uh, maybe after this first training uh, or subsequent training, I'm going to show you how you can, after your trade, then a fund, you now trade exchange. This way you're trading is just like hybrid of Forex, which is kind of um, a margin trading. And but after that, it, it converts your money to fiat. And what am I going to do? Like, look at this money here. What we're having here, this guy, yeah. Uh, USDT. This it was today. I was experimenting in the office today. I actually, deposited twenty dollars today, and trade Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Sub. And so after the all the trade, I was able to move the money from twenty dollars to fifty two dollars. So if it were like $200, okay, $200 that was there, that means the money will have been $550, $520, depending, of course. And um, what I tell people is that here, it's just like a daily liquidity, and that's what we're doing here. Now, but if you're smart enough, after trading this, what am I supposed to do? Leave this money in the USDT, no problem. 
once BTC or Bitcoin Cash or whichever instrument fall very well, then you can now do quick exchange so that you take it back to asset. Okay, you take it back to asset. Right now, you don't take it back to asset. You leave it in fiat because you have made profit and the price of the asset is still very high. So after the, a crash down of this guy, then you can turn it maybe when this guy is so a very, very small amount of money, uh, maybe drop down to 9,000, then you can move it and immediately. So, but first of all, when you have credited your account with BTC or Bitcoin Cash, you are meant to convert it, okay? Let's say, but must I convert everything? No. Let's say you have uh, credited your account uh, with uh, 0 0.1 BTC, for instance, $1,000 thereabout. So you just want to do 0 0.05. So you can put it and it's going to tell you how much and then you click on exchange. So it's going to convert and tell you this is the prevailing rate of BTC right now. And it's going to convert uh, and show you what percentage they charge you in the conversion. And the minute you convert, it's going to put it to USDT. Please remember, you will not be able to trade if you have not converted it to USDT. And so immediately it converts it to USDT. Fine. No problem. You've done that, then there you go. Close this place, go back to trading. So leave exchange and go to trading. Now, immediately you go to trading. Okay, which of the instrument do you want to trade? Of course, we'll be giving more signals of okay, yeah, BTC, uh, Litecoin, or whatever that is doing well at any point in time. Like I remember when I used to trade on my BitMEX, I use the way the spiking is happening in Binance to monitor my trade on BitMEX. And so I don't stay too long. Sometimes if I put in like $100, once I see, or $200, once I see I've been able to make $50, for that day, I quit and say, have a nice day. If they like, let the market do 1 million percent of my business. So I'm off. Anyone who take profit never go broke. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. So that your EDC, you will not waste it. Your other coin, like some of you who bought the Katiwari coin, you know, and some other primary coins. Of course, some of you who have not known in the primary coins, maybe you are still very new to be with me. Uh, maybe thereafter, uh, we still need to post that thing on our Telegram for you to understand which one is primary coins, which one is secondary coin, why should I hold secondary coin, why should I hold primary coins, and all of that. So here, the money you are keeping here is that any profit I make, and always please, anytime you come to trade here, Give yourself a target on how much you want to exit with. Let's say you are putting $100. You are saying if at the end of that 24 hours or within a few hours, within a few hours you have been able to do additional maybe 40 or 50% for a day. That is 40% or 50%. Cut it off. Wait for another day. Another day if it's not favorable, if the market is not favorable, don't trade. If it's favorable, trade. You have done maybe another day you've done 20%. You know it's massive, 20%. You've done 20% for that day. So it was $100 you have there. You have done 20%. That's $20. Be okay. What you're actually doing here is that like your bank account where when you need some liquidity, you can easily convert and withdraw your money and make use of it so that you leave your asset, your EDC, your credit, your other coins, like one chain you have stake and all of that. So now let's go, for instance, let's say I want to trade. If I want to trade this guy, uh, let's go here. Of course, we'll give you indication indication of why you need to trade a particular instrument you want to trade. Okay, uh, let's say um, right now I, I'm just suspecting BTC because BTC ought to have hit ten thousand four hundred dollars. So at this point, it's a critical time because at four thousand, at ten thousand four hundred dollars, it ought to do a reversal of about nine thousand four hundred and fifty dollars before taking off again, maybe up to eleven thousand. But it may do another top double top. To go to eleven thousand two hundred, eleven thousand, uh, uh, eleven thousand two hundred, eleven thousand uh, three hundred. But for me, I've acted out of some of those my margin trading. So if I like, let it do eleven thousand something. But I've made profit, so I'm off. Okay. So now let's say I want to trade BTC now. So I click on BTC, or I want to trade this guy Litecoin. So as I trade or click on uh, Litecoin, so you go to open trade. 
So I click on open trade, it shows this now at the price. So you go here, all right? What is showing here is that trade minimum you can trade is $10. So you go here, is it $10 you're actually trading? This multiplier indicate how many X, X of what? You are saying times 50 times. What I have is $10, but I want to trade up to times 50 times of my money. So 10 times 50 times will give you how much? About $500, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's go over there. Or 50 multiply by 10. So $500. So exactly what we've done is you were telling the system. Okay, sorry. Okay. So what you have done is that I only want to use $10 out of my money to trade. But give me a leverage, just like in forest trading, we call it a, a lot size. So give me a leverage of up to 50 times of my money I'm trading with. So that if you do 10% of this market, that 10% is going to be calculated on $500. And that's why you can make that fast money. So instead of the 10% to be calculated on $10, it's going to be calculated on $500. So here, uh, it shows you what it's going to charge you or the percentage, you know, and whatever. So now, uh, forget this. Later, you can do that. But mostly, uh, I'm not ready now. Now, let's say I want to go in, not 20, let's say, is my $50 I want to use. So I say $50, for instance. So if I say $50, you can click inside this box to reduce the leverage. Remember, the higher the leverage you make, the, le the higher the profit. But if the market's against you, the faster your money go up. So look at it, the highest actually 50, all right? So I can bring it back to 20, I can bring back to 10. So you can see $50 times 10 is $500. $50 times 50 time, okay, is actually 2,000, okay, sorry, uh, didn't get it all done. So it's actually $2,500. So I want to trade market of $2,500. So just like you're asking your distributor, that please, my market supply me two trucks of the drinks, but I'm only giving you quarter of this truck. So when I finish selling, I give you the change back. So now, this is your decision. This is just like normal Forex issue now where you are longing or you are shorting in BitMEX. If you are longing, look at it. If you want to long or you want to short, long mean to buy. And why are you buying? Because we have an indication that the market was going to go up. So if you have indication that the market was going to go up, we buy. So you are saying, yes, I love this market. It's a good one. Just be giving it to me. Now, when you click on buy, the, lo the higher the market go, the more profit you make. Now, if you click on sell and the market go up, that means it's against your prediction. Now, why I'm using this and I'm telling us to take advantage of this, other than like BitMEX and the IQ options I used before. You know, IQ options and all of that, they have so many uh, constraints about like, um, you know, uh, some of those, your liquidation price, Look, in IQ option, you can have timing. If you want to make the fast profit or good profit, you have to go on timing, maybe five minutes of hour or five seconds line or one hour. And once it's up to that time, whatever is the market price, unless you close it before you hit the bar, if not, you could lose all your money as far as against you. Even with minus 0 0.01 minus, you are negative. All right, so now here, you click on buy because we are looking at, okay, the market is going to go up against the peers you're picking. Then you go and click on buy. Now, if you are looking and expecting that, okay, the market was going to crash against this, then you click on sell. So the more the market come down, the more you are seeing your profit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you have done this, I can see go ahead and open another trade. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Ethereum. Okay, maybe Ethereum. And so I said, Ethereum at this point, see, I've been telling us this. Anytime there's a sudden spike this way, expect a reversal, if not up to 200 EMA at least or 50 EMA. And so you announce, hey, this market should correct itself. Even if it's going to do double top, 
it should correct itself. So at this point, if I'm trading, uh, depending on what algorithm we have that is it setting, if I'm trading Ethereum now, at this point, I'm going to short. That is, I'm going to sell. So I can short and I can take profit. I can click on that to take profit. Or if I'm free, I'm in the market, I can just be watching the market and exit my market at any point like. Okay, I actually don't want to pick a trade now because I've not analyzed all the market and so we have to pick a trade right now. If not, I should pick a trade uh, for us to see how it's running. You know. I've, I've finished uh, the experiment I was doing today. If I was to do normal trade of like $100, $200, with this profit I've made today, there's nothing that will make me go back to the market. The next, the next thing is tomorrow to see what market am I going to have favorably you know, to go. And so the same thing, you want to, um, you want to go into a Bitcoin cash. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, this guy is Bitcoin cash. Yeah, Bitcoin cash. So you can open up to 10 trades at a go, and all will be running concurrently. All will be running concurrently. And uh, at the end of the day, you make your profit. So uh, it's just for you to close the market. To close the market, it's just uh, where is an open trade? Okay, I think I need to and I open my trade. Another thing I observe with these guys is that uh, either is it true or, or no, I saw they send a kind of pre analysis on their platform. So they say you have used Signal yet. So our platform provides you with inclusive signals tips developed using advanced market analysis techniques it notifies you the best opportunity for profit as and when they occur so we tested the focus accuracy and it gave a surprising result of 70 percent so you can you you no longer need to be a professional trader or make analysts uh, market analysts to make money on the financial market so things are getting more uh, fantastic, but of course you have to still use your sentiment to you know, go against some of those things. Well, what I tried on one of the sentiment they sent to me, I checked against the algorithm you know, of analyzing a particular pairs and I discovered that it was very nice. I said, okay, that means there are a lot of things that are happening, but some of us are still standing or staying by the fence without knowing that you can actually make some reserve money for yourself. You know, why using so many platforms to take advantage of this market? Before I forget, before I forget, as many of us who are, let me go back here because I may forget before I close. Now, many of us who are on this market, this guy, uh, Coinsbit, uh, I was sharing with some of our friends in Boraco last week and I told them, hey, this Coinsbit, you remember, we said cryptocurrency is not just an investment, it's beyond investment, it's an opportunity to invest into. Now listen to me, when you go into Coinsbit and buy any coins, as much as they're doing the inverse box of any of those coins, this is what you should adopt as a start. Maybe you bought GST. This GST and GST I think is costing about free Satoshi right now. Then you buy GST, free Satoshi, and you, there you go. You go to the inverse box, so for instance, uh, let's go here. Okay, it's coming up. So let's say you've gone to the inverse box, or let's say BBK, okay? You have gone to inverse box of BBK, all right? There you go, and you, you bought, let's say, 10,000 BBK. What is expected of you? Please, all these things these platforms are doing, they are fine, but it's this sentiment. It's just about strategy. It's combination and permutation. So what you should do is to take advantage of them to increase your portfolio. Now, if you have bought, let's say CMB, maybe you have bought uh, 300,000 CMB, right? At let's say lesser amount or uh, 120, what is it 120? Or 20 Satoshi. Divide this CMB into two, set half, into different tiers, tiers one, tiers two, tiers three. How? Set the first tiers at 40 Satoshi, which is 100%. Second tiers at about maybe 70 Satoshi, and the last tiers at 100 Satoshi. 
Now, there you go. Why the inverse boss is running? CMB now spike all of a sudden and clear all those your order. Now you now know that okay, the money you use in buying the 300,000 CMB with this spike, you have made it. Then you can be patient enough to watch what happened. Let, let me tell you something. Most of this coin, because uh, you can't really, nobody can tell me now that like CMB is still better because uh, since it's an, it's an exchange coin, but nobody has been able to identify which project exactly are some of those coins supporting. So it's all about market sentiment. And after the sentiment, you can have an issue of buying maybe a coin, let's say BBK, at this is 120, am I correct? Oh, 12. Is this 12? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is 120 Satoshi. Now, 120 Satoshi, uh, I placed price at 100 to buy back. It actually got back to 103 Satoshi. Now, 120 Satoshi, let's say you are buying BBK at 120 Satoshi. There you are, you are taking half of it to your invest box. Now, 120 Satoshi, 100% 100 of 120 is 240. I can set price at 240. I can set price at 250. I can set price at 350. Now, if all this one are sold, why my coin is still in the invest box? I've made my capital. Return that capital back to BTC. I haven't returned it back to BTC. This guy is still doing the invest box. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying this to scare anybody about the invest box, but I'm saying this for us to maximize everything we are doing in the crypto space. Look at what will happen. Some of these coins now that the invest box is going on, you know, many guys that are here are traders, and traders work on taking advantage of time and season. Now, when almost of the invest box get matured, and they have accumulated much volume, See, I can bet with you, this coin that is at 120 Satoshi, they can dump it back to four Satoshi, three Satoshi. I'd like to let you know that CP, I bought some CP, though after trading it, I bought some CP at 110, 97 Satoshi, 120. Some, someone was telling me yeah, last week that I bought CP at 192 Satoshi. Yes, was it, was it wrong? No, it wasn't. But it was not sensitive enough to like, okay, I bought CP. The other thing is that after I bought CP, see CP, the peop other people who invested on the invest boards, they are not major investors, they are traders. So they take advantage of time. And immediately that's mature for them, let's say 3% per day. Now, if they have been able to do two weeks, which is about 14 days or 15 days, they are able to do 15 days. 15 multiplied by 3% or 4%, let's say it was 4% or 3%. 15 multiplied by uh, 3, that is 45%. That means whatever CP this person must have invested on the invest boards, I've done close to 50%. That's almost half of the coin. Now, the coin then spike up to 250 from 100 Satoshi. That fellow had done 150% extra. Listen to me. He's going to dump all the coins and move away. So you will look at 45 plus 150, that is almost 200%. So it's up. It's waiting for another coin another time. And so why you are holding it? Now, you may, not, you may be the type of person who cannot be patient because once it dump on you, just keep the coin in the inverse box. I have some coins now that after it was dumped, I just kept them on the inverse box. Now, as I've kept them on the inverse box, maybe they have accumulated times two or times three of the coin for me. I will stop the inverse box. As I stop the inverse box, I will place the market of these coins in different prices and go away. Look at CP now. Look at, I have some CP I set here. This is 300 Satoshi. This is 800 Satoshi. No, sorry. 3,000 Satoshi, if I'm not mistaken. 8,000 Satoshi. 5,000 Satoshi. Huh? 1,000 Satoshi. Now, where is it now? is at nine Satoshi. Then I have sums that is inside the invest box. So if anything spike, why did Felix place it this way? Because if you go back, you see record of when the coin was pumped aggressively, more than even the 1,000 I said. It was pumped up to almost 8,000 Satoshi before. Okay? Was it 1,000? 80,000 Satoshi. 
60,000, 40,000, okay, 20,000. So the volume I even said was very little, okay, <laughs> it was very little. Okay, so below, so look at the previous line that was when it was launched only, that was January 3rd, and then there we go. The guy is here the other day, the other time it pumped up to 9,327. That was on the 23rd of January or 24th of January. So all the prices have set. So look at this. It may not take up to 20,000, but 3,000, 2,000, 5,000, maybe half of these. So I may be lucky. Any shoot up anytime. But when exactly is it going to happen? I don't know. So I can keep this here because I have kept some liquidity somewhere. Listen, it's all about decision. You must set your decision before you hit the market. And that's where you make money. And what is important is that you must learn how to make money. And so you have to be selfish about your money, that your money do not just go up. Another side that many of us have refused to explore in the trading. I've told many persons that trading is not about reading candlestick, you know, and all of that. Trading is all about information. You have to be very informational. So if you are very informational, what exactly am I supposed to do? The market is trending. I take advantage of the market when it's trending and make my money. When the market is sluggish, I return it back down, you know, to increase the number of such coins. Now, this be true. I think I've sent the link to our Mega Green Club, uh, but maybe I'll still send it to our you know, uh, be with me if you have not registered on this be true. Try and do that so that uh, I, I bought some of their coins. And this their coin is part of the coin that is inside their, their in, uh, what I call it, inverse boss was taken. Now, if you look at it, look at their coin. There are some sentiments they are doing about it because remember, this is a community token. And they are busy planning a lot of roadmaps on it. And so what roadmap are they planning? Uh, you can see this is a bit true roadmap. Let me click here. Yeah. These guys actually support more of Ripple coin. Okay. So, it, so it's a signal for you if you have Ripple, don't waste it. <laughs> so I have some Ripple, I don't even touch it. Just keep it there, let it be plain. So it's better I trade. I have some volume of such coin I'm trading. Ripple is part of the primary coins we kept. Okay, so look at it, uh, be true, be true. Kota, uh, this was the first review. You know, keeping a lot of things in 2020, you know, what we're gonna do, complete these things. A lot of things, but that's not what I'm interested in, but those are sentiment that boost the market of certain coins. So we can say, be true, uh, roadmap, half, uh, first half, 2020, and then giving some other things they wanna do, be pre, blah, 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 this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. So I just bought, I bought a lot of their coins, for instance, and I kept, number one, the coins enables me to earn more of my invest, uh, investment, okay? Wow. Uh, I'm not saying you should do this invest, uh, this uh, staking, but <laughs> for me, part of my Ethereum that I was keeping, I had to experiment it out, okay? Instead of me keeping Ethereum for the next one year or two, why don't I keep it somewhere where they can pay me 0. Uh, about 6.3% in a year? And so, but if you look at it here, logically, the Ethereum I kept here was one, uh, where is this? Yeah, was one Ethereum. And the time I was bringing this Ethereum here, it was actually $123. $123 of Ethereum. Now, you can see now, uh, what I'll be earning on that Ethereum, oh, Oh, I thought this says you have 2,000. So I'm having less of the, <laughs> so I have to buy more of this, their coin. You can see, say, you only need to hold about 250, so additional. Oh, I place more other of their coins, so I have to fund it. I was actually now running on 8.63% in a year. But look at it, their coins is actually going up, so I can buy more, and then to enable me, to earn 8.63% in a year. But look at it, it's flexible. I call this girl's flexible staking. Anytime I'm done, maybe Ethereum had, I'm expecting Ethereum before, between now and uh, today is our 11th of January. Before March, I'm expecting Ethereum to cost about $500.
And there you have used $123 to buy Ethereum just last two months. And I kept here. And so $123. So if you bag $500, that's a good. I can unfreeze it and go to their exchange. You can unfreeze the Ethereum and go to their exchange and get it sold to USDT. Or if BTC is rising against it that time, I can push it to uh, I can push it to BTC. If not, I can come to this guy, uh, USDT, and push my Ethereum. Okay, I can push my Ethereum. Okay, uh, Ethereum to USDT. So if I push my Ethereum to USDT, that's from one twenty-three dollars. So I can sell it at two hundred, maybe five hundred dollars. So I allow this guy to bounce down. Look at this. This is a trending, trending upward trend. So it's just actually trending. So I can now, bam, when it come down, it may not come down to uh, the 120 something I bought it, of course, not possible. So it's not possible, but it can take a reverser to at least 200 EMA from 500 to maybe $260. So I buy back. Actually did this last year, March, April, May, June. And then uh, the last Ethereum I sold was $360. And I start buying back at 210, uh, 180, 150. Then the last I bought was 123. And the last Bitcoin cash I sold last year in June was at about $500. And then I start buying bit, uh, Bitcoin cash back at you know, 147, 150, uh, 200, 231, and all of that. So it's actually patience and strategic planning. So what you do is to increase as much as you can do to maximize this guy. So uh, I think I will allow us to ask questions because maybe some persons may still be confused about this environment. Say, hey, I'm getting more confused. The more you talk, the more I get confused. So let me allow us to ask questions because actually we don't have much to say. But I just want to let us know that our trading room return, uh, resume fully. Uh, if we can do once in a week, Tuesdays or twice a week. And, but if we can't, just once in a week, then every other signal we can be bringing on our forum and all of that. Uh, so you, if you want to ask questions, you can ask. Uh, so congratulations for some of us who had kept the faith, <laughs> let me say, kept the faith on this guy, Green. Remember, our three major coins on, on uh, BitForest are Green, Beam, and Well. I actually added this guy. I added this guy, but I don't want us to get our hands burnt on it. This NSG, I've been so sentimental on it, but I'm trying to research on what exactly their project is and embarking on. But BIM is a coin that I don't know, even if you are trading, you should keep some fractions on top. Just imagine people have bought BIM at 6,500 uh, Satoshi. I remember me and Doctor were talking after he sold. I said, BIM was to take a reversal, but I said, I'm afraid BIM may do a double top. And I think Doctor is scratching his head now. That Oof, this guy will come back to. <laughs> 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 because BIM actually have a lot of projects behind it. Sentimentally, if you go to your coin checkup, many of us will be using coin checkup. Sentimentally, you know that BIM has been crazy. Uh, Well, Iota, are you crazy? 24 hours, that's good. So beam, bats, you know, beam, bats, uh, energy, some of those coins, uh, I just try as much as possible, have some fraction of them that I don't even sell. Just like how we are holding chain link, and so you sell some, you don't just be selling anyhow. So you can sell anyhow. You can see that Beam is having a strong buy. What are we having? Bombury joined Beam. Alexander Zedin, Alex, whatever. I'm a, 
Uh, I'm happy to welcome Robert Patrick, the just sentimental. Uh, this tweet has been retweeted by a lot of big accounts. Uh, please fix your research on him. Uh, he doesn't have optimal anonymity, even if I fix your research on Beam and all that. There's some other sentimental stuff last. Uh, let's go uh, to crypto, con uh, crypto panic. Okay. The backbone of crypto is research. And so, so when you have tip, you follow the tip to follow up more information on Beam. Uh, how this one come to like MN stops now? Huh? <laughs> is that is it the screen be like MS DOS? <laughs> no, what to rewrite the screen be like my Microsoft DOS? What to rewrite the program? What to write uh, what to write the program? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, okay, let me not go to more research today. So I can just give us some guidelines on our personal research so that when you are cooling up, you can do some research. So those research will make you to do some sentiment and then your sentiment will help you to make some money into your pocket, you know, and uh, before somebody wake up, right? You know, it's when men slept, okay? So you can do some crazy thing. Uh, okay, let me check green. But BIM is part of the coins that at least I have intermediate or what we call meantime, meantime uh, holding. And you can see seven days ago, uh, at least seven days ago, this guy have done 32%. Against BIM, that was not too bad. I think I, I, I bought this guy at about 11,000 uh, 11, plus Satoshi. Okay, and there you are. The guy went up to as high as how many Satoshi? Uh, went up to as high as 15,000 Satoshi. But I still have a coin, I still have a trade on it up to now, up to, yeah, on green, am I correct? Uh, the green, uh, for you to know, and you don't need to be too hasty. For me, I don't like uh, stressing myself unnecessarily. Trading is not about stressing yourself unnecessarily, it's about, if you stress yourself too much, even when you make profit, it doesn't make sense. But if you don't stress yourself too much and you make profit, it makes a lot of sense. And so, just to set your trap, like you want to catch a dental look. Okay, okay, you can see now this guy. Okay, 16,000, 18,000 Satoshi. So, that I still have from green, so it's not normal business. So, that means you see that I'm telling you that uh, this guy, I'm expecting, let me show you the cycle I'm expecting on this guy. Um, You have to have perspective of long-term view on some coins so that you can make good money, even if it's two months or three months, you can make some good money. So look at it on look at the day interval. With day interval, look at the cycle. So look at it's still coming up to hit up this uh, about 17,000. So I have 16,000. So my 16,000 is closer. And uh, in this cycle, can take about uh, this is a recovery of about 50 AMA. So in the next about less than one week, as you have my first order or getting close to my second order closed. So if I go by one week, you can see the guy has done about 20,000 Satoshi before. As the phenomena is happening, so it doesn't take me to recover, ban, boom, and then here. In the next one week or two, I should be able to rebound here. So but for those that have been sold, I can as well just return back to, I think it was RVN I bought before, and I've got them sold, okay? So if you look at, I think even well, okay, oh, sorry. You can see well is down, and well is a coin that, okay, if you want to buy, you can buy some portion of well. Well is trying to recover. I bought some well uh, yesterday or something, because well was about less than 400 Satoshi. So you can see well has done some crazy thing before, up to 10,000 Satoshi or there. And then this guy is very stupid down here at about 500. That's what, hey, hey, what am I going to do? Just buy. So from here, from 500 to 2,000 Satoshi, that's crazy, you know? And I can, I can still make, see, the guy have been down perpetually for several days now. So what he's doing now, it does not even recover. You can see, does not break, you know, to uh, becoming more bullish. So if I still buy, uh, 
well now, you fine, you know. If all well can get back to a thousand satoshi, because, uh, because I, I think I have some well to sell at maybe up to thousand satoshi. Let's check, I think here. You can see 1,300, 1,100, 1,200 satoshi that I want to sell on well. So look at it. Hey, Felix, are you crazy? I am not. <laughs> uh, okay, this. So I don't need to be there. So that means, look at what I said. It was just around this place. Stupid. So that's just like, you know, first leg, catapult one, before you don't go to 2,000. And uh, so that's just it. So now, but you can see that I, I wouldn't bother myself so much about this because I have a place I can just slot in maybe $100 or $200. I can add up another hundred dollars. So the hundred dollars can buy that boy in my house, pampas and all of that. And so this guy can be working on their own. So that will be jealous enough not to touch my EDC. But if I'm touching my EDC now for sale, it's a waste of resources. So let me know come I regret my life just because I want to meet off uh, responsibility. So we have to plan ourselves against uh, what should be coming, okay? So please let me let us ask questions. And so if you have a questions and you can ask so that uh, we romance this together to help ourselves. Yeah, any questions? Um, there was a, was a token that um, you shared with um, Obsilva earlier on. And um, I called him back to say that I think we should take that token seriously. Okay. Um, and, uh, and I explain my, my thinking. Um, I don't know, but it's just my analysis of information that I've received here and other places. Okay. So that token is called Bitcoin Evo. Uh, uh, okay, those, those things we used to collect, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just found out about it today. <laughs> yeah, we've been collecting some of those uh, wicked, wicked, great things. So. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> and, and I told him that. After he told me, I went and I bought like 10 million units. Okay. Then I told one of my downlines, I think I bought 100 million. Ah. <laughs> and I like, <laughs> 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 and I'll come to my mind that come to think of it, that this thing, we should take it seriously because later I found out that it was supported by CoinGecko. Yeah. And what I was telling Popsio about is that once the phenomenon happened, anything that has Bitcoin as part of his name will yeah. sell. Whether yeah. it's Bitcoin shit or Bitcoin goods. Bitcoin, <laughs> yes. That based on what we've seen since the last time, and that's even today, there's no digital, uh, cryptocurrency that has Bitcoin name on it, like not in the top 100. Mm. So I think we should take it seriously. I'm still waiting for Maita to land again now so that I can also buy a driver. I'm <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, but since you're the one that told us that, yeah, I should tell you that. That's my own thing, you know. Okay. I'm going to buy it. Whatever the team becomes, I'm just going to buy and hold. Because anything that has Bitcoin on it will become world famous after the half of the year. So Absolutely. Absolutely. That's that, that fantastic. I think it was uh, uh, um, uh, Mr. Jacob in Abuja was sending it to me the other day. And another one he actually gave was, uh, I think I'll go back to him later. Because when he sent it, I said, we're just collecting all these things because I, uh, we don't need to say, hey, let me know everything about it before I do anything. You may just yeah. close. Just like in 2017, I told some people, I say, open exchange platform, wallet. A time will come, you want to open a particular exchange or wallet provider, they will tell you we have reached the limit. And you, the coin you want to trade that is doing massive, massively pumping is only traded on that exchange. And they will say, I'm not taking, yeah. Seriously, many of us don't understand. Wow. Yeah, they will say, no, we're not taking new people again because we have reached the number of, you know, the thing we, we expected to do in a day. And there you go, oh my God, what am I going to do? Hey, you don't change anything. And that's exactly what's happening. Some things that we don't believe or we don't know that they do something crazy. We end up doing so many things. That, like, I think I'll ask Mr. Jacob again, the other one, you know, we have checked on that coin gecko again was uh, something bigo and all of that. So uh, bigo, yeah, bigo. And I think I'll ask him later. Uh, well, there are a lot of them like that. And if you if you if you correlate all these things happening now, correlated to like when BTC and so many crypto projects started, 
experimentation were going on, say, okay, open your wallet, let's try transactions and all of that. And many people, you know, that's the part of the part of the foolishness in cryptocurrency. And so they did it and the whole thing do 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 do. And so I just imagine that the kicks they gave to us on their on trust wallet. We don't know what's gonna happen. It may end up happening now and eventually they say move it to exchange. You move it and they say the coin is fifty cent. And then there they give you eight hundred and eighty something thousand. Fifty cent by eight hundred and eighty three eighty eight thousand units of it. That is uh, four hundred and forty something thousand dollars. So when you tell somebody, yeah, I shared in our, in our office the, the other week, the, uh, a person who I just told, hey, go and register this coins bit and then uh, claim this um, uh, CMB. If I said, can you come and explain to me? I say you were stupid. I don't have that time. I've given you go and do your work. So and later he he just by you no know, grumble and then and so but later look at it. Me, I even told him. I think at the time they now. You know, start their trading. Uh, I think I was busy with, uh, uh, I think, for Mugo to start, you know. <laughs> so the guy sat with the coin and the volume he has, because he was spreading everywhere, and the volume he has was about close to about, I think we have close to the same range. You have about 100 and something thousand of it. And the 100 and something thousand of it, they follow it up to about, uh, because they pump it up to 4,000 Satoshi. And I think he followed up to about 1,000 Satoshi or 500 or something. And he just make funny, very funny 3 BTC. 3 BTC, I think it was $9,000. So 9,000 multiplied by 3, $27,000 on something that was for him free. Loading And so the guy <laughs> you know, collected the thing. And he told me, oh my God, oh my God. I said, hey, oh boy, pay your tithes. That's true, that's true. So those things can be very funny and then we don't know. But the only thing yeah. is that we have to stick to and be checking when update information going forward and all of yeah. that. That one actually caught my attention because um, I remember one of Tika's videos saying um, a particular company that has block, that included block name as part of his name mm. during 2017. Mm. His stock did 500%, even nobody knew what you were doing. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so as I just saw that, they're like, ah, Bitcoin with it. Ah, yeah, I'm that down because the way you know it now, the price will be reaching $100. <laughs> but that's true. So, that's true. So, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, any, any more questions, anybody? And you have. Uh... Uh, Beck, uh, good evening, sir. Uh, Chong for officer. You are needed at the headquarters. Oh, well. Well done, sir. I did do already. <laughs> Officer Sean. <laughs> I beg, I don't get the name where this uh, where doctor talk now. The name of the token where he said. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll send it to us later. <laughs> nah. <I beg. laughs> we could arrange ground. They keep making no call escape for battle. Officer, I'll call up with the team. Bye, guys. Oh, well, it's good. Thank you. Thank oh, you. your boss, eh? Hey, I beg you, you need to revisit this uh, marginal rich trading. Okay. Okay. okay, is there a solution? Revisit, right? Hello? Yeah? Uh, not today. Uh, yeah, okay. because the thing is still yeah. somehow. Yeah. We need to grab it and move with it. Okay. Because that's the major reason why people sell off when they are not supposed to. Pardon? When you, I said one of the reasons why people sell off their assets is because of uh, waiting man go yeah. out now. Yes, when exactly. You, exactly. When you can do those things, you can now leave those things for a while. Yeah, leveraging on them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so I, I'm very, very interested. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh. Okay, uh, any more questions? Any more, you know, addition, contribution, subtraction? Where is Doris? Good evening, sir. Uh huh. <laughs> Good evening, sir. How are you? So, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank God, sir. 
Mm, uh, my, my, my question plain to you, not be some more. Fire on, start from anywhere. You say we don't, with this our trading, we don't step up many, many. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I trust you. <laughs> you don't start, no like me. <laughs> 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 so please let's start with a uh, bit true. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. It, one, is that not supposed to be a third party? Okay. I'm just scared. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Are you here? Are you here? Sir? Are you here? Sir? Are you here now? Are you here now? Are you mean I'm at, on bit true or I don't well, know. Are you here? Are you here? Yes, nah. Are you seeing the screen? Yes. What is this? Exchange. Bitru is an exchange. It's not an investment box. Okay. Bitru is an exchange where you go. Bitru is an exchange where you It's an exchange where you can It is Bitru. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So and even the percent, and even the percentage you are doing on these things, this six percent you are seeing is not per day, it's not per month. It's for a year, just like you are taking your coin of one chain, one chain, the highest, one chain to have the highest percentage on this taking. Are you following me? So the, the percentage you are getting is not per day, neither is it per month, is annualized token, is is six point three percent in a year. Oh damn. <laughs> so so it's not even it's not even maybe monthly or something, it's a year. So and you can unfreeze your your Ethereum sell it to BTC there or withdraw it as Ethereum. So it's not a, like uh, bring your money, we trade for you. And then uh, after five seconds, honor. no. This is an exchange platform where you trade cryptos. The same thing as Celsius, you know? And so that does it. Just like when you go to this platform, you see uh, Bitfinex and all of that as part of the platforms that uh, that does uh, some of those taking, lending, and all of that. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay. I can understand you now, sir. Let me read you see why I talk. It was it. All this grab <laughs> make a boo fly to put on over three days. No to rent in a face to face. This uh be true, eh? Yes, sir. I've been waiting for their code since one week now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> maybe your email, maybe your email, <laughs> maybe maybe your email get a uh, comma. No, now uh -uh. don't kidnap the yeah. major rules. <laughs> Doctor, go to hospital, man. <laughs> <laughs> I will report to you. <laughs> 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 Actually, there are things where some of us that are opening the, I think they, if you are using some, uh, okay, some of you must have created, but some, I think is not taking something like hash and some of that things and all of that. So, but you can, um, uh, maybe you were using, like my, I get code on my phone number and at the same time, anytime I'm logging in, I get an alert on my phone number and on my email that, uh, that I'm logging into my B true and, so just the same thing like uh, this guy, um, just like the same thing like Celsius. Celsius give me update of my uh, honey and uh, I think everything is in order. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. 
maybe you try it another way and or another browser, you know. Sometimes maybe network will help you. I've not heard some Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, I think we've done justice to the necessary thing to be done tonight. Huh? Kuro, kuro. I have a question. Ah, uh, honorable chromatic. Are you the house? Oh no, Budu. Eh. Honorable professor. I am loyal. 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 I I want to have knowledge like you, sir. When I go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a news officer. <laughs> 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 I'm Please mute officer. Oh no, but no. <laughs> 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 Please mute officer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mute <laughs> I'm not going to I am back. I am back. Sir. <laughs> you are back. You are back. You are back from where? God of better, God of better must yeah. answer you. You are back from election. Oh no, boy. Akif. Eh, be back on board. <laughs> I got a meat officer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. I don't know why Pakins is laughing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you not hearing the only one? Officer. Leave <laughs> the is alone now. Eh? I beg. If I make it, make it ask a question, eh? officer. Abba. Oh no, Budu. No, the inefficiency. Inefficiency. I mean, this is not the comedy house. Oh, that police. Eh? Okay. Honorable. I beg. Honorable, honorable, ask a question. Call officer to the barrack. They have called him in the headquarters. Yeah, uh, Call away. He's, he's on his way to Zabiza Forest now. He's now in the boot. I don't resign, no. I don't resign. I don't, I don't go again. Zabiza, <laughs> go do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so happy. Let me do Baba Saji. Hold on, Abu. <laughs> yes, you are your father. <laughs> you are serving your father land. Don't be that side. 
Okay, do that job. Officer, take me your time. Thank you, look at it. You do that, Coco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, honorable, you say you want to ask a question. Yes, I was asking if um, cell shoes is the same thing as HITBC exchange. Hmm? Hello. Hey, chicken. Hey. I wrote it. Okay, it's different. Census mm -hmm. oh, okay. has, 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 look at it. I uh, look at I've it. seen it. Uh, and even look at all this exchange, yeah? look at the strategy those guys are doing. Uh, all these exchange have pattern and they know where they are going to. They know that crypto is big, okay? And now, uh, Binance have been a kind of eye opener to like holding an internet token because it's already a big community, okay? Now, I traded this coin. Because if you open Celsius, if you open Celsius on its own, uh, like I sent a, I sent a link of, of Celsius for us on Mega Green Club. And if you open Celsius, they give you one as an experiment. Like I bought many Celsius, I think about how many months when ago, about one or two months ago or so. And I bought it uh, at um, <coughs> four cents, okay, four cents. Now, you, if you go, go to CoinMarketCap and type sell, right? You will see Celsius as uh, uh, a, a token. Now, if you look at it, see, there are crazy things happening in cryptocurrency. But I want to see some people who say they are trading, sorry, forgive me, those people say they are trading forest. And then you will soon go inside forest because there's so much money to make here. Look at this guy, I, I collected it here down at this angle four cents i think it dropped to as low as three cents that time and after that it has done up to 17 cents or so i think last uh, three days ago it was at about 17 cents but presently it's seated at about 16 cents so even if i was to sell now four cents to 40 to 20 to 16 cents that is four times four that's 400 percent already done deal but meanwhile, it's just take where they are paying. Now, I'm not going to be surprised if this coin, I'm not saying you should go and buy it anyway, but I'm not going to be surprised if this coin, the next, before the phenomenon, before the halving of Bitcoin, I'm not going to be surprised if this coin at 70 cents. I'm not going to be surprised. So, but I don't need to have much of it. Even if it's $50 worth of it or $100 worth of it, I can keep it. Got the coin, uh, the Celsius, uh, okay, all time high was 2018. It's almost beating the record to cover the loss of 100%. So it's having minus 24% to recover the all time high in 2018. And uh, so practically, the coin is going up. So those taking platform, you know, when you buy coin and just keep there, it's logically like they are just doing. Uh, Semi mining for you, so you can be collecting your coins. So, okay, there are many things that will see come up that we have not even seen. Please, sir. Okay, somebody is asking a question. What's the date of? Uh, uh, April. Uh, April. May 16th. Woo. Well, twenty twenty. Oh, 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 that's about how many days to go? About 90 days plus. Hey. About no. 90 days. We don't need to joke. We don't need to play at all. It's huge. Yeah. But sometimes we may not be. They are spiritually disarmed. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, then. okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll try tonight. And so uh, let's go and have a nice rest and to refresh tomorrow. So you know, some of us that have to re resume for office, you know, we have to go to bed early so that uh, we will not take care of the fire alert. Early to, early to bed. Early, early to, to rise. Rise. You know. Poverty will grab you. Uh, before, before the traffic, we have to wake up early, as early as 4 a.m. so that we can meet up. <laughs> so we have to go to bed right now. So, early to bed. Unless, to rise. Want, Poverty. My, unless you want guys, you guys want my boss to fire me. You know, so. let, let your boss fire you. <laughs> Okay. Where, where, where my, you were, where? my boss is yes, he's here. Who's your boss now? Ah, the only yeah. boss I know the only boss you have is BTC. I, okay. <laughs> my, my boss is Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure? Very sure. I'm sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> He said, he'll give me, he said he'll give me Zach letter this night, sir. Uh, uh, BTC. Eh? Uh, go ahead and sleep, I beg. Uh, BTC. Eh? Uh, my, my, my employer said he will sack me. You say na BTC. Na uh, BTC be your, be your employer. <laughs> I hear they sack you. They'll give you more. Eh? Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so let's have a nice rest. Uh, good night, everybody. Thank you, sir. Good night.